Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Yes. It's a 57-year-old postmenopausal woman presented to ER with chest discomfort radiating to arm and back since morning. Initial 10-second assessment, airway patent, able... May I ask one question? Yes, no? What is the difference between a postmenopausal woman and uh, premenopausal women in terms of cardiac disease? Uh, sir, uh, estrogen is kind of protective, protective to cardiac, to so postmenopausal... Coronary circulation, sir. not cardiac. Cardi cardiac means she, she can have... Uh, uh, valve lesions, uh, infective endocardi, all these things can happen. But coronary artery disease and stroke is much lower in a premenopausal pre woman. Airway patent, able to complete one sentence, no pooling of secretions or gargling. Uh, breathing, respiratory rate is 19 per minute, saturation of 97% in room air. On auscultation, bilateral air entry present. Circulation, heart rate 65 per minute, BP of 160-80 or peripheral pulses palpable. Uh, disability, GCS of 15 by 15 and pupil uh, equal and bilaterally uh, reactive. Patient is afferbrile and uh, GRBS of 180 mg per DL. Uh, adjoint to primary survey, we did is an... Is diabetic? Uh, no, sir. Uh, ECG and tropi was taken. So, sample history, 57-year-old postmenopausal woman, non-case of bronchial asthma on inhalers, presented to ER with complaints of chest discomfort, radiating to back and left arm since one day. Uh, this chest discomfort is mostly a uh, heaviness which is not relieved on rest lasting for less than one minute which is radiating to back and left arm three episodes today uh, last episode was 30 minutes back uh, similar episode for past one and a half months was present but worsening was today there is no variation of pain in breathing no history of fever orthopnea variation uh, is important in only in breathing or some other positional variation, position is, variation. is it important yes sir it's more like a pleuritic chest pain no, one month uh, pleuritic one chest pain month. is not a good thinking what are the other reasons Pleural for positional chest variation of chest pain what are the other conditions which can produce positional variation of chest pain? Uh, pleural effusion, pneumothorax. That is all acute condition. Okay. So one month you are telling that, so I am asking. Huh? Muscular. Muscular skeletal pain, okay. Then GRP is the most important. So immediately after lying down or lying flat, mm -hmm. if the patient is developing chest pain, GRD or hat <coughs> cernia, all these things are very important. No history of fever, orthopnea, PND, dyspnea on exertion, cough, syncope, exercise, sweating, nausea, vomiting, palpitation, uh, hiccups. Huh. Heart score was 2. So then uh, allergic history, no known allergens. The 2 means it is uh, it unlikely. Uh, low risk. Low risk. Uh, medi uh, medical history, non case of bronchial asthma on seroflow inhaler. Uh, this <laughs> hypertension but not on medication. Okay. A general examination, conscious oriented, uh, no pallor, ictus, clubbing, uh, cyanosis, lymphadenopathy. Systemic examination, CVS, uh, S1, S2 present with no murmurs. Bilateral air entry was present, CNS, no, fo no focal neurological deficit. What, what are the changes of hypertension in the heart? Uh, left ventricular hypertrophy can yes. occur, sir. Yes. Uh, um, uh, what are the changes you observe in heart in hypertensive heart disease? When she told LVH, ECG or palpation or auscultation, you can. Reduced diastolic pressure because of the feeling decreased. Okay, Ari, how do you know all these things? Diastolic. Echo. Echo. Clinically, I am asking. Echo will tell LVH is there. That is correct. Left axis deviation ECG is very important. LVH left axis deviation is very important. Then A2 what will happen? A2. A2. She has told S1, S2 normal. That's why I'm asking. A2 will be loud. You have to auscultate and uh, may, like, these are the, like you get lot of patients with high BP in emergency room. That may be due to anxiety, fear, pain, so many things. They may not have hypertension at all, but we 
unfortunately we make a diagnosis of hypertensive uh, like hypertensive or hypertension but later it may create problem for the patient okay especially insurance patient and all so we have to rule out hypertension by few techniques one is they told ecg is a very important tool you can see lvh left axis deviation other one is auscultation you can see loud a2 left ventricular enlargement echo will tell lvh so all these things we have to do and we have to rule out actual hypertension it may be only because of fear fear or anxiety so bp can be increased so we have to write fear induced high bp that's all if you once you write hypertension it's it's a he or she will be branded as hypertensive disease uh, uh, we done an ecg which was normal sinus rhythm and we even re uh, repeated an ecg after 1 hour which also shows normal sinus rhythm no, no. dynamic changes then uh, no like no change between no two. changes okay uh, drop by point of care was negative and cardiac and same lab was also negative okay uh, e echo with suppose you have a st depression tvo inversion cardiac and same as are negative mm. Will you rule out uh, coronary artery disease? No, sir. We okay. will give serial, serial cardiac and serial also not not increased. Will you rule out uh, coronary artery disease? Mm, no, sir. ST depression, ST depression, TVO inversion, chest pain is there. Cardiac enzymes are negative. What is your diagnosis? Huh? Unstable angina. Or no? Uh, see, once it is myocardial infarction only, cardiac enzymes will be elevated. there are a lot of other things which can occur much prior to infarction okay maybe simple ischemia accelerated by some anxiety fear in the all all these condition ecg change can be there but uh, you may not get the elevation of the uh, enzyme yes. so elevation of enzymes only indicates yes. acute infarction if it is not there then you have to again suspect uh, ischemic heart disease only okay uh so we given tap sorb uh, sorbitrate 5 mg sublingual mm. the pain subsided okay uh, then uh, we we asked we we asked the patient for admission for further evaluation of causes of chest pain okay. but the patient was not willing so discharge okay. request was done okay so what is your final diagnosis here so patient had chest pain you had uh, treated the patient you had even given sublingual mm. sorbitrate but ecg was not showing any change pre serial ecg was normal were normal then the cardiac enzymes are normal what are the differential diagnosis still you think can uh, an like uh, angina can be occur stable or so angina? angina can be there without ecg change also sometimes angina, angina can occur can. okay so how do you rule out then uh, coronary artery disease in such patients we can do tmt test so you have to advise the patient to do tmt test once the patient is stabilized or without chest pain she has to come back then you advise for a tmt in that tmt if there are changes then she will be diagnosed as coronary artery right. disease that is one possibility then then other causes other causes cause. what are other causes Sim start from the skin backwards to the heart uh, so did you examine the skin of the patient yes sir Now what uh, what problems you can get on the skin which can produce severe chest pain on the left side, herpes. especially herpes. diabetic herpes. patient. Herpes. herpes. Herpes is the most important reason which can produce similar chest pain in patients. Even if it is on the back, sometimes mm -hmm. you can get anterior chest pain. So throughout that dermatome you can get pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. So herpes should be ruled out <coughs> such patients. Then. Then costochondritis. Costochondritis and uh, rib, fractures. rib fractures. Okay. Then. Ma uh, muscular 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 skeletal pain muscular skeletal pain is another thing then uh, mediastinal anything mass mediastinal normally mediastinal mass and all will not produce pain okay that can produce a dragging sensation mm -hmm. pain will not be there mm -hmm. unless and it's a severe problem and infarcted mm -hmm. lesion otherwise pain is not a feature mm -hmm. so there are pain sensitive sens uh, structures in your body there are pain insensitive insensitive mm -hmm. structures okay pleura mm -hmm. Uh, pleuritis okay pericarditis, pericarditis. okay then uh, cause cause of contract she has already told uh, rib fractures and cause of contract is malignancies of rib okay then vitamin d deficiency vitamin d deficiency gen produces generalized bone pain okay then what is your vitamin d level 
have you checked it huh? you always be deficient 100% deficient then then pleural effusion pleural effusion normally will not produce pain but early phase of pleural effusion pleuritis you can have pain once the deficient develops pain normally subsides okay. empyema can be there then pneumonia pneumonia can pneumonia uh, not you might have seen lot of pneumonia mm-hmm. here pain is not a feature of pneumonia but severe cough can produce some t- some sort of pain uh, grt grt is one of the important hiatus hernia and grt is one of the important reason for chest pain so here you are given sublingual sorbitrate and patient's uh, symptoms have relieved and you your ecg cardiac enzymes are normal what is linked angina linked uh, ஆர்ட்டி <laughs> 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 okay so they relieve with the uh, sublingual sorbitrate but you sometimes you may misdiagnose it as angina okay so that you have to keep in mind and cervical rib sir. cervical rib is another reason because it can compress your nerves and same left sided upper limb and chest can be uh, pain or diffuse sensation can be there then pulmonary embolism okay esophageal aortic aortic dissection is another important but uh, pain of the aortic dissection will be more over back sir so it just capillary okay. but uh, sometimes you can get uh, suppose you, there is a root dissection you can get pain in the anterior area also but normally you get a pain a severe pain in the intrascapular pain but we cannot tell like this sometimes patient can present with just pain itself okay pulmonary embolism is another reason esophageal perforation perforation, perforation. can be there there, there are all uh, remote uh, reasons for chest pain but it can happen in some patients mm. what is pseudo normalization of ecg pseudo normalization in what what do you mean by that? during the time of stress there will be ecg changes mm. but, uh, later when it is stable the mm. changes becomes normal like the emotion of something becomes normal is it usually inverted is now becoming normal any ecg change like inverted or upright becoming other other side after some time of treatment okay that is called as pseudo normalization okay that indicates some sort of coronary artery disease so that's why always you have to repeat one ecg you have to see any changes are occurring in the ecg not only change from deep inversion to the normalization sometimes small changes itself can produce a normal pattern after few hours okay so we have to be very careful anything which is coming back to normal or going <coughs> to an abnormal this one from a normal to abnormal that also should be taken as an abnormal ecg and we have to subject the patient for tmt, TMT. okay if possible tmt otherwise what are other ways you can rule out coronary artery disease other than tmt uh, angio one you can definitely you can go for an angio if a patient is willing you have a center for that you can do it otherwise uh, what are the other reasons so echo can be done regional wall motion abnormalities can be picked up in some patients then cardiac mri, cardiac MRI is another possibility then perfusion scans Cor- perfusion scans we have mm. perfusion scans in that uh, actually uh, there are some condition called as syndrome x cardiac syndrome x what is cardiac syndrome x what is cardiac what is syndrome x diabetes obesity hypertension coronary artery disease that is called as syndrome x so you have multiple uh, uh, diseases that produces uh, uh, blood vessel changes but what is cardiac syndrome x vascular dysfunction so microvascular dysfunction in the heart even if you do a uh, angiogram it will be it will be normal. normal but if you do a tmt it will be abnormal positive mm. then only ways to do a perfusion scan and see whether the perfusion is normal or not okay mm. there is something called as stress echo perfusion scans all these things are available in our hospital so depending on the clinical scenario sometimes we we'll have to go for all these things so if this patient may benefit from a tmt 
what uh, your patient mm -hmm. so once the patient is stabilized we have to send the patient for a dmt okay. and rule out coronary artery disease meanwhile you have to take an x-ray cervical rib all these things we have to rule out mm -hmm. okay was after discharge any any other complaint was there no sir. okay pain relieved so they wanted so to we have discharged discharge. okay how do you treat uh, hiatus hernia and uh, grd symptom hiatus hernia i'm going to advise him how do you advise the patient slightly uh, small quantity food and immediately after food they should not lie down okay. and head and should be slightly okay. elevated and take domperidone Dom or something like that yeah. Okay, that should be. Actually, we have to advise all these things when we discharge. We have to advise everything, and they have to come back and uh, rule out all other causes. Okay, thank you.